Ashley lost both her parents due to a car crash when she was five years old. Her mother was pregnant and due any day at the time of the crash. Luckily, the doctors were able to save the baby. Ashley and her newborn sister were separated during the adoption process. They go their whole lives, never meeting. For three years, Ashley has worked a dead-end receptionist job and has finally had enough. After a not-so-civilized conversation with her manager Friday morning, Ashley quits. She calls her friend, and the two decide to go out for drinks. Ashley heads home, takes a shower, and picks out her favorite outfit for the night. A black pencil skirt, white crop top, gold necklace, and an opal ring she's had since birth. Classy, but still says she's ready to have fun. Two car honks fill the quiet courtyard as she grabs a jean jacket and her purse and heads out the door. Blasting old 90s boy bands while Ashley and her friend laugh and giggle, a green Volvo runs a red light, nearly missing them. Slamming on their brakes, they look at each other in shock and take a deep breath. A little shake and they look around for the Volvo, but it was nowhere to be found. Since there was no damage done, they proceed on their way. Finally making their way into the bar, they grab a drink and head to the dance floor. Finishing their drinks, Ashley heads to the bar for another round. From across the bar, a slightly older gentleman notices Ashley and makes his move. With an encouraging nod from her friend, she says hello to the mysterious stranger. He introduces himself as Liam. Being polite, Ashley introduces herself back, giving the false name of Rebecca Bennett. Complimenting the opal ring sitting on Ashley's slender finger, she smiles and says thank you. Taking the last sip of her drink, Liam signals to the bartender and two drinks appear before them. With a confused look on Ashley's face, Liam says his father owns the bar. The two finish their conversation and Ashley is reunited with her friend. The DJ begins to slow the music down and they decide they've had enough dancing for the night and head out to get something to eat. Sitting in a diner booth at 2 a.m., deep in conversation, a homeless man wanders in, begging for spare change. He asks three tables before making his way to Ashley and her friend. He turns violent when the girls say they don't have any. With an outburst of chaos, the manager comes to their rescue and escorts the man out. Late Saturday morning, Ashley gets out of bed and makes a cup of coffee to go with the leftover pizza in the fridge. She sits at the table and sees a piece of paper sticking out of her jacket pocket. She leans over the table and reaches for the paper. Written on it is a phone number. Confused and hesitant to call, she calls her friend for advice. When her friend gives her the thumbs up, thinking it might be the dashingly handsome Liam, Ashley picks up the courage and calls the mysterious phone number. After dialing and one ring, she immediately hangs up. Pulling herself together to try again, the phone rings. It is, of course, Liam. After a small 30-minute conversation, the two make a coffee date for Sunday morning. The next morning, Ashley wakes up, checks her emails, and gets ready for her coffee date. It's a nice day, and the coffee shop isn't too far, so she decides to walk. She grabs her purse and heads out the door. She meets up with Liam, and the first hour seems to go smoothly. Like a switch, something begins to seem off about Liam. He begins to ask personal questions that make Ashley feel uncomfortable. Getting weirded out, she tells Liam she has a few errands to get to and excuses herself. Liam watches Ashley through the coffee shop window as a young girl asks if he's finished. He nods to her and she takes away the empty coffee cup. Walking down the street, Ashley notices a man and a puppy. He looks a little suspicious, so she walks the other way. Feeling a little creeped out, Ashley calls her friend. Asking what was wrong after hearing her cry hysterically, Ashley's friend says her boyfriend dumped her on accusations of cheating. Ashley says the two of them need a beer and movie night and says she'll pick up some beers on the way over. Ashley walks into the convenience store parking lot and sees the man and his puppy again. Hesitant, she lingers in the parking lot for a little while longer and looks at her phone. She looks back and sees that he has left, and feeling like the coast is clear, Ashley makes her way into the store. Finding the cheapest beer and a few snacks, Ashley gets in line behind an elderly woman and her daughter. Watching from the security mirror in the back of the store, Liam locks in on Ashley. With a creepy stare in the, into the mirror, he bumps into a man trying to get a bottle of vodka. Excusing himself, he walks up to the counter with his bottle of whiskey. 
Ashley pays for her items and Liam watches her leave the store. She walks down the street and sees a young girl climb up a fire escape. She reaches her friend's street and sees a woman yelling at some middle school boys about the dangers of firecrackers. Walking into her friend's place, the two cheers a beer and sit in front of the TV. Their reflection on the TV only shows one. What happened to Ashley? Thank you.